Mara Wilson rose to fame in the 90s as the precocious little girl in Mrs. Doubtfire, followed by the lead role in Matilda. But the talented young actress seemed to disappear from Hollywood in the years after. Now in her 30s, she has since regained her footing and embraced her true passion. Here's what she's been up to. The beloved 1993 film Mrs. Doubtfire opens with a family of five navigating a painful divorce. Despite the heavy subject matter, the movie takes on a lighthearted tone after Robin Williams' character, family patriarch Daniel Hillard, transforms into an elderly housekeeper named Mrs. Doubtfire to maintain contact with his three children. Any fan of this comedy probably remembers the Hillard's youngest child, Natalie, who is played by then five-year-old Mara Wilson. Wilson stole the show with her bright blue eyes and personality and quickly became a cherished child star. After the massive success of Mrs. Doubtfire, she went on to star in the 1996 movie adaptation of Raul Dahl's Matilda, acting alongside Rhea Perlman and Danny DeVito, who also directed the movie. Even though the movie was another hit for Wilson, she reportedly contemplated quitting acting after the film's release due to the death of her mother, Susie, who was tragically diagnosed with breast cancer shortly before Matilda began filming. Just months after the movie wrapped, she passed away, but not before DeVito made sure she got to see her daughter's finished work. I thought that my mother had never gotten a chance to see the movie, but he said he actually brought uh, a print of the movie to her while she was sick. Despite the impact of her mother's untimely death, Wilson continued to take on a few other acting jobs post-Matilda. It's a decision the actress later came to regret, telling Parade in December 2013, I found it kind of overwhelming. Most of the time I just wanted to be a normal kid, especially after my mother died. The California native recalled that the time in which she was most famous was also the time in which she was most unhappy. As Wilson put it, acting became sort of her emotional crutch, and she expressed in an interview on NPR in September 2016 that she, quote, didn't know what to do with her life after Matilda. Wilson eventually found her true calling during her college years at New York University, where she was a student in the school's interdisciplinary theater program. There, thanks to a class centered on creating original work, she discovered that she was a natural storyteller. She explained in an interview with Long Reads in November 2014, quote, I told a lot of autobiographical stories, and I always wanted to be a writer. During her time at NYU, Wilson performed a one-woman show about her childhood fame titled, Weren't You That Girl? She says the show sold out every night, giving her the confidence she needed to pursue her new passion. In 2014, Wilson's former co-star Robin Williams took his own life, prompting a period of self-reflection on Wilson's part. In a short statement published in August of that year, Wilson wrote that she was, quote, shocked, confused, angry, regretful, and above all, sad to learn of her former co-star's death. Wilson paid homage to Williams in her 2016 memoir, Where Am I Now? True Stories of Girlhood and Accidental Fame, a book which also addressed her mother's death, her dating life, and everything in between. She explained why she wrote the book in an interview with Mashable. I felt like being in the public eye, people were only seeing a fraction of my life and sometimes I only wanted them to see a fraction of my life. But there were things I wanted people to know. Despite Wilson's openness in the book, she didn't reveal her bisexuality until after the tragedy of the Pulse nightclub shooting in June 2016. While the reveal had been a long time coming, Wilson later expressed regret about coming out publicly during that time, with the timing drawing accusations that she was using the tragedy for personal attention. While Wilson's creative development took her away from acting, she still makes occasional appearances, such as a brief cameo on Comedy Central's Broad City in April 2016, which paid homage to the climax of Mrs. Doubtfire. As she explained in an interview with Brooklyn, I have no interest in pursuing an actual acting career. The only times I do act are when it's with friends or when it's a project I really like. She also shared that she's working on embracing her child star days. In November 2018, she attended a Mrs. Doubtfire reunion with co-stars Pierce Brosnan, Lisa Jacob, and Matthew Lawrence. While growing up in front of an audience of millions had its drawbacks, Wilson has said she's coming around to see the positives in her experience. She told Entertainment Weekly in a post-reunion interview, I had a lot of great opportunities that a lot of other people didn't, and I met a lot of wonderful people. You kind of have to come to peace with it all. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite movie stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.